Hello guys. Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you doing, guys? Ready for today's session? How do you feel? Gustavo, Salvador, David, no, tell me. Night. Good night. Good evening. Albert, Jancy, um, Jacqueline, Brian, Ruth, Carla. So welcome. Welcome, guys. We have our session number 14 today. Okay. And today I want to start by making this really short exercise. I'm going to send you on the chat one sentence and I want you to complete it, okay? Um, today, today, let me, I am, let me see, I'm just typing it, blank. And then because, can you see what I have uh, sent on the chat right now? I want you to please complete this idea, okay? Because I know we always uh, have we every day or we have many reasons to be thankful for it. And today is not the exception. And sometimes we take little things for granted. I want to hear some of you, you know, completing this statement or this idea. So who would like to participate? Yeah, I'm thankful for it. And then you say it and then you say because and you say it as well. Who wants to do it? In life, there are many little things that we take for granted. Muchas cosas que damos por sentado, I think. And uh, which, if we don't have them, then we notice, you know, that we had the privilege of having them, right? But then, um, so how would you complete this? Solo vamos a hacer un pequeño paréntesis, but I want to hear your ideas. I am thankful for. Yes, Carla, thank you so much. Of course, good ideas. Okay, I'm waiting for some others. Oh, okay, no problem, Gilbert, no problem. I understand. You might wanna say I'm thankful uh, for my writing abilities because I can write even though I am I cannot talk. <laughs> There's always a reason to, to be happy or to be thankful for Gilbert, but you know, it's okay. Thank you for letting us know about your situation. I really hope you get better, okay? Let's see, I only have received one idea. Anybody else? Anybody? I'm thankful to be at home because I can rest a little and I can talk to my family, yes. Yeah, good, thank you so much. I'm gonna give one more minute, no more than that, because I know uh, sometimes if you don't wanna express it, it doesn't mean that you are not thankful, but I always suggest expressing it, okay? That's something that we wanna say it, okay? We want to express. Let's see, maybe one more opinion or, I don't know if I will see more messages here, but as of now, I have only seen two messages on this statement. Mm -hmm. Let's see one more minute. One more minute. And let me start sharing the screen. Okay, here we go. One second. One second, guys. I'm just trying to share my screen. I'm thankful to have my family together and 
healthy except for my for me yeah yeah no problem no problem it is understandable so let's see maybe anybody else want to share i did my homework to talk about my favorite singer yes i'm gonna come and con eso in a minute uh -huh. All right, uh, well guys, thank you so much for sharing. We have today two things. Uh, we have number one, we have some activities for today. We are talking about family, right? There are some ideas that we need to go over. And we also had this activity pending from yesterday, which I said I was gonna give some time for some of you to practice, to participate and to share about um, your favorite singer, right? So let me give you some time. Who wants to do it? Jacqueline, would you like to start? You can also share the screen if you if you would like to. I'm grateful for another day of life and because the health and my family. Yes, that's a good one, Delmi. Good. So who wants to do the presentation, guys? Anybody? Anybody? I said you can um, create a PowerPoint. Yo creí que iban a ir con las presentaciones así, vaya, hasta con efectos. Y decía yo, sí, nadie que va a poner ahí hasta música de fondo, decía yo. <laughs> okay, vamos a escuchar. I have a little. Yeah, you do? Okay. I have so, a little presentation. Oh, you do? Nice, thank you. Sí, lo único que música no le vamos a poder poner, ¿verdad? no van a bloquear el video. Okay, veamos, escuchemos un par de ustedes. Tenemos un par de actividades ahí que tenemos que hacer ahora, pero eso es importante. Escuchamos. Ah, interesting. Vamos a escuchar entonces a nuestra compañera Jacqueline. No creo que la compañera no es mi... Uh, teacher. Yes, yes. Eh, yo tengo también una presentación, pero no, mi máquina no, no me sirve para ello. Se la mando y usted la muestra. Sí, se puede también. Lo único que no eh. tengo conectado mi WhatsApp. Ya lo voy a conectar. Mándela. Va, perfecto, perfecto. Ajá. Yo también, Gracias, profesor, profesor. Este, no la puedo compartir, no sé si se la voy a poder mandar a usted. Vaya, mándemelas ahorita, yo voy a, voy a descargarla, a ver si me deja. Eh, Jacqueline, ¿está lista? Sí. Adelante. Ok, my favorite singer is... Mm, ahí está. Es Harry Aguirre Styles. She know, uh, he knows is Harry Styles. Was born in February 1, 2994. Participate in the program, program the Factor the X Factor in 2010. The songs she auditioned for the X Factor we was You Say She Lovely by Steve Wonder. Currently, 28 years of age, it's a free roller coaster and snakes in Eastern, my mind, the 2010 to 2022. Was on the around with But when direction he took a different break in 2019, launched his solo career, won his first award at the, with the album Fine Line, she had more riches. More rich in one of, of her songs and rich at the top 10 in the United Kingdom was Adore You, with the single Watermelon Sugar when they ran me for best pop solo performance. Discography and filmography of Alive, Made in the AM, Final Eye, Eternals, Dunkirk. Thank you for attention. Thank you for presenting, uh, Jacqueline. Uh, well, it's a, it's a really good one. I think I have seen this guy many times. I like the way he sings. Me gusta como canta this guy. Me gusta cuando canta una que dice, give me a second, I, I need to get my story. Algo así. Story of my life. We were young. Story of my life. It's a good one. Nice. Um, well, good. Thank you so much for sharing. Ven que ustedes pueden hacer presentaciones bien bonitas. Solo se trata de querer prepararse un poquito. You do really good. 
So thank you so much. Alguien más que esté listo que me pueda compartir. Yo, thank teacher. You. Thank you, Jacqueline. Bueno, escuchamos entonces a una más. Um, es, está verdad y mi presentación solo que me tapa no sé cómo quitarle esto sí lo, lo, lo estamos viendo ya pero a mí a mí no me da la pantalla completa bueno eh, biografía eh, my singer eh, my, my five singer es mm, Cristina Clario Cristina Clario has born on September aquí no puedo verlo bueno, compañera pon apriete ahí Ok. Es que me, me pone hacia un lado la, la, las fotos de los que estamos ahorita. Y me tapa, no sé por qué. Ah, ya está. Uh, Chris, eh, Christine Di Clario. Was born on September. Eh, so, eh, eh, Um, nineteen. Um, me olvidó cómo se pronuncia. 1982. Nineteen eighty. Nineteen eighty two. Nineteen eighty two. In Junkers, New York. After the death of her father, she moved to Puerto Rico with her mother family when she was seven years old. She is fluent in English and Spanish. She is currently residing in Dallas, Texas, with her husband, Carlos Caban, and their children, Alan Anthony y Caban. A uh, music career. The Clario began her music record career with her animal. Debut Studio Album. Produce Big Whistle, I Pump the Support of Christian Singer, Paul Hernandez. The Wood Album was released in 2005 with her debut single, No Me Abandonarás, was released on July, June 7, 2008. Be integrated on April 20, 12, 2011, Declario realizó The Vuelta al Jardín with Integrity Music. In 24, uh, her collaboration with Dominican rapper Redimidos, El Nombre de Jesús, gained international success for reaching more than 150 millones de news en YouTube. Later, following this, realizó su primer live album record, Eterno Life. It was recorded en March 2050, on September 7, 2018. Declaró que realizó su segundo live album record, Emanuel Grassy House. On January 10, 2020, she appeared in duets with Tauren Wells. In su single, To Poder Yo Creo Ti, which is the Spanish version of his song. Thank you, Jacqueline. 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 Hello. Sí, se uno, ve. No sé qué me dice. Uno de los propósitos que ustedes hagan en estas prácticas es para que hablen. Y la verdad es que eso, eso se está logrando. Cuando you try to speak, lo, lo único que no se nos mostró, bueno, a mí no me apareció la otra slide, fíjese. No me apareció, es como se quedó en la primera. No sé qué oh. pasó. Pero um, sí, a, a vos estaba tratando de seguirla en lo que iba diciendo y pues la verdad es que se entiende bastante bien. Eh, detallitos que hay que ir poco a poco ahí, ¿verdad? Pero lo demás, esa es la idea. You speak, you try to try to explain, and it's, that's the idea, that's the purpose. Así que le felicito y gracias por hacer ah. el esfuerzo. Okay. All right, good. Thank you, Olivia. Uh, I think we have some other 
Juan su participe y las que me mandaron ya las voy a revisar ahorita aquí solo tengo bueno tengo dos aquí vamos que al que más le gustaría participar en lo que yo descargo los documentos que me han compartido tengo alguien más any else? Uh, Gloria I think go ahead Gloria thank you so much voy a darle compartir Gloria Um, hello, uh, my my favorite singer is Britney Spears. Um, Britney Jean Spears, born December 2nd, 1981. It's an American singer, songwriter, and dancer. She is credited with influencing the arrival of teen pop during the late 1990 and early 2000s for which she is referred to as the princess of pop regarded as a pop icon under 50 million record worldwide including over 70 million solely her one of the world's best-selling music artist Britney Spears first song was baby one more time released in, in 1998 of controversy for its lyrics as well as for its video in which Spears appeared as provocative a school girl when the album Baby One More Time was re released in 1999 it quickly topped the charts solamente ok, thank you so much Gloria tiene, tiene, tiene voz de, de DJ, de, de locutora bien, bien así profunda, Gloria no, no presentó la foto, no la tenía, don't you have it no, no la tenía pero thank you so much for sharing ok um, thank you Gloria um, so Let's see, we are going to uh, listen to one. Ah, sí, la tenía, pero no, no la, no la compartió. Bueno, estamos bien, solo uh, este, no era opcional la foto, ¿verdad? Lo importante es that you speak, y usted lo acaba de hacer muy bien, así que gracias por eso. Thank you so much for that. Eh, voy a compartir a uno de los que me, de los que he recibido audio si no puedo compartir porque alguien me mandó un audio videito si no lo puedo hacer porque no nos tienen permitido compartir audio quién me mandó esto miren aquí está ahorita yo it. tiene ahorita la oportunidad de compartirnos this is my teacher <laughs> all right David go okay. Mark Anthony next <laughs> Marco Antonio Muñiz Rivera, born in September eh, 16, 1968. Now professional is Mark Anthony. He's an American singer, songwriter, and actor. He is at the top ceiling tropical salsa artist of all time. The three time Grammy Awards and six time Latin Grammys Award. Winner has pulled more than 2,000 million album worldwide. Now for his Latin salsa numbers and ballads, Anthony has won numerous awards and achievements have been honored through various recognitions. He was the recipient of the 2009 Congressional Hispanic Cautus Institute Lifetime Achievement Award. Mark Anthony, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to this thing. But that was that was the last part, I think. He was the recipient of it, and then there's no more because I clicked this and then boom. Yeah. The picture. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. He's really famous, this guy. He was Jennifer Lopez's husband, right? Yeah. He's his and the Jennifer Lopez have uh, two children. With him, this guy, yeah, yeah, you see, this, this guy, 
I, I like his song. It's a really cool one. My favorite yeah. song is is Hasta Ayer. ¿Cómo se dice? Hasta Ayer. Until, until yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Una que dice, y, y hubo alguien. That one is. Ah, ese es buenísimo. Mm -hmm. sí. That one. Y hubo alguien Ajá. que se encargó de darme todo cada tarde. Y así. <laughs> y ahí continúa. Nice. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you, David, for, you know, singing as well. We move on. Tengo otro documento que me compartieron. Y este es one. Let me see. Ajá. Is this the next one? Go. ¿Quién me lo compartió, guys? Please. Yo. Yo, Carla. Es, uh, good evening, everyone. I'm going to talk about all my favorite singers. She is Adele. Adele Laurie Blue Atkins was born on May 5, 1988, in North London, England. Adele was the only child of Penny Atkins and Artie Mon, who was just... 18 at the time of her birth and the Welsh father Mark Evans who left the family when Adele was only four years old. Adele, British singer-songwriter who has sold millions of albums worldwide and won the total of the 15 Grammy as well and Oscars. Adele is the first two albums, 19 and 21, earning her critical prize and level of commercial success on their passage among her peers. After becoming a uh, the mom in 2012, Adele returned to the charts with the ballad Hello in 2015. And lead the single from was the double her combat album 25 in 2017. She won the five Grammys for her work on 25 including album record and song of the year. Singer Alice is the Grammy Award winning artist whose throwback the soulful song has made her international success with years like Rolling in the Deep, Someone Like You, and Hello. Thank you. Really good ones, right? Thank you so much yeah. for sharing. You know, this lady. I like this. I like Adele, teacher. Yeah, so thank you so much, Carla, for sharing, you know. This lady is really, really successful, right? And yeah, I imagine. Well, uh, you see, in 2012, she was a mother. And then on 2020, 2015, she returned with this song, Hello. It's a really, it's, that was a really top hit, right, of the moment. So thank you so much. All right, so who else wants to part? Thank you so much, Carla. That was a really good presentation. Um, I like it. And anybody else, guys? This is like maybe Salvador, I think. Somebody sent me, alguien me mandó ahí un, un audio con un video. Eso no lo puedo mostrar, guys. I'm sorry. Eh, pero si alguien más tiene algo más que compartir, pues es welcome. Bienvenido. Salvador, le gustaría tomarnos unos cinco minutos más para que luego comenzamos con el tema de ese día. Go, Salvador. Okay, is it Yes, please. Go ahead. Okay. Good evening, partners. Uh, my favorite singer is Rihanna. And which name is Robin Rihanna Franklin. She was born on February 20. In 1988, in Barbaros. So, uh, Rihanna uh, usually was a 
very application in high school where uh, in company with some Christmas had formed a group in 2005. Uh, this was in the group got the opportunity to audition with Evan Rogers. Evan Rogers was an American record producer. Roger shared that when Rihanna walked into the room, he immediately saw that she would be special. He later sent Rihanna's demo tape to JC. This led to Rihanna being signed and Rihanna released her incredible successful debut single Pond did replay in 2005. Uh, the first one produced in her career was the top of the billboard into the A Girl Like Me was released in April 11, 2006. This production was the top of the billboard in 103 months after its release on Valentine's Day and maintained rains for three consecutive weeks. And the second one was the won the, the first Grammy in 2008. This game changing track umbrella was released on March 29 in 2007. And in spite, she already had two albums and four top 10 Billboard Hot 100 hits. And this time, Rihanna earned four nomination for the 15 Arnold Grammy Awards, which was the first time she was recognized by the Recording Academy. As you can see, a different picture was put in the slide. So then Rihanna produced the album called Loud because this one represent or release in November 16 in 2010. Loud was released in November and it's found three number one songs. That's my name, Only Girl, and S and M. Lau and Rihanna her first and two day only grammar nomination for album of the year. The show's most COVID award. And following, he participate in Barrelship. She made her big screen debut with Barrelship in May 2012. This was loosely based on the board game of the same name. It was critically pained by Price Worry for Rihanna's big screen debut, for which she was chosen specifically by the film's director, Peter Burry of Universal Picture. It was a best movie in which Rihanna was participating. So Rihanna's and seven studio albums shot to the top of the billboard. So how to hundred becoming Rihanna's first number one album and won the Grammy for best urban contemporary album on January 26, 2000. 14. As you can see, this album is released in 2012 on Apologetic because Rihanna uh, BK 
came to the number one in all of the radios uh, around the world. So, and finally, in March 2017, the Harvard University Foundation gave Brianna its Humanitarian of the Year Award in recognition of her dedication to promoting educational programs, different programs. In 2012, Brianna founds the Foundation Global Scholarship Program for a student for Caribbean country going to college in the United States, which provide this foundation the education access to 10 of million of young students around the world as fight against poverty. Wow. It's all for me. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, you know, that's really inspiring, Salvador, what everything this, this lady has done. And thank you so much for presenting about that. You have provided us a lot of information about Rihanna, but thank you so much for that, Salvador. And she is really successful, eh? muy exitosa, la verdad, por todo lo que ha hecho. Así que gracias por compartir, buen trabajo, pues la verdad que se mandó, trajo casi toda la vida de la artista y las canciones que tuve la pues la movie también guys uh, quizás alguien más tenga alguna información que compartir eh, pero en este caso nos vamos a quedar aquí y posteriormente podíamos retomar verdad la, la, la idea era en sí que trajeran algo presentable así como algunos lo han hecho short but sweet para corto pero con, puntual entonces um, so let's do this voy a este compartir en este escenario yo para ya retomarla Parte del contenido. Okay. As you can see here, guys, we have uh, this. We didn't talk about this yesterday. We have a conversation. Rita and Sue. Voy a pedirle a dos voluntarios. Um, creo que los que estaban queriendo participar sería genial. Vamos a ver Belki y Jansi. Belki y Jansi, please. Good evening. Ladies, uh -huh. Okay. Okay. You are Rita in in Sue. Sue. Yo, Sue. me Sue. Sí, me Sue. Okay, empiezo yo entonces. Hmm? Yes. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very sacred project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photo photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. This is mom. And your brother? He is traveling in the Amazon. Amazon, thank you so much, lady. Good, very good. Yes. Jancy and uh, Belki for your participation on this. Well, we read this yesterday, but teníamos una idea ya y pues les agradezco por la, la, la este, información. Now, where do Rita's uh, parents live? Right? ¿Quién tiene la respuesta? Open your mic. Where do Rita's parents live? Tenemos la información. No la tenemos. La necesitamos escuchar. Is it is it here? Do we have the information here? No. What information, teacher? This one we have on the screen. Oops. Where do we this uh -huh. Do we have this info here or not? Encontramos información de, de lo que tenemos que aquí en en el en este text. Do we have that info here? This this conversation. They, uh -huh. they live they live in United States. They live in United States, okay. And what yeah. do they do? 
What can we say about it? Tenemos info de la de que a qué se dedican? Or not? There's no information about this in this conversation. Los papás de Rita. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, good. We don't find anything here, right? In esta conversación, we don't have. No hay. Exactly. Los padres de ella no hay nada. We just talk about. <laughs> okay. Yeah, where is it? I don't find it. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about this. Quiero que nos vayamos de un solo a eso. Tenemos 25 minutes. Guys, what is present continuous? Ya hablemos de present continuous. Let's focus on this. ¿Qué me, qué me pueden contar de eso? ¿Qué tan familiarizados están con ese tema? What is present continuous? Los que ya vieron el video me pueden decir a lo mejor um, que han entendido o qué questions do you have about present continuous? I, I think it's the action that's happening in the in, in the moment, no, sorry, uh -huh. past, it began at, at the past, uh -huh. but right now, but continue, uh, continue, I, know, I don't know how it's explain, but it is that the, the action is, is, is the present, but, but continue, and in the moment that I, that I talking about the action, yes. for example, I, I'm watching TV. Maybe I began to watch TV at seven, seven o'clock and I continue the, the same action right now. <laughs> I try. No, that's good. Actually, that was really good. Good explanation. You are saying exactly what the answer is. It's an activity that is in progress, right? In progress and started a little while ago, but it's still in progress. Present continuous, guys, is exactly what Ruth said. It's an action that is in progress at the moment of speaking. So we need to use ING, right? All these actions need to be in ING. Es como cuando decimos en español el gerundio, ¿verdad? El ING. Las terminaciones de ending for, for this son las más comunes, endo y ando son las más comunes. For example, what Ruth said, watching TV, uh, viendo endo, televisión. So basically this walking. time, uh -huh, walking, caminando, working, trabajando. So basically we have the action plus ing se hace en una acción, in an action which is in progress, again, at the moment of speaking. Ese es el present continuous. Progressiveness, está en progresivo, está happening, como le explicaba Ruth. Right now, veamos las otras ideas. Um, ahora, si me tendrían que responder a esta pregunta, how would you respond to it? What are you doing right now? Están 25 conectados, bueno, 24. Everybody, mandeme, everybody send me one message telling me what are you doing right now? Que no solo sea, I am uh, listening to you speaking. Try to think about other possible answers. Maybe just to illustrate the idea. I give you one minute. Right. What are you right doing? or right? Right, please. Ah, right. <laughs> please. Or if you don't have access to writing, you can open your mic. I take ah. right now my class, my English class. Nice. We have Ruth says I am studying in my English class. Jacqueline, I'm watching that class. Really good. Some other ideas, guys. What are you doing right now? Mm -hmm. um, I am drinking tea. Awesome. I like that idea. Okay. I am drinking tea. Okay. What other uh, ideas do you have? For example, I am hearing the classmates. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am hearing the classmates. Yes. Remember, Olivia, that we need to have the verb in ing. El propósito es, the purpose is to have the verb in ing. Que el verbo esté en ing, right? That's the purpose. I am learning English 
in this moment, yes. At this moment, I am writing, right, uh, David? I am answering or I'm answering in the chat. Exactly, very good. So all these sentences you have provided me with are in ING form. And that is exactly the things we are studying, right, on this. Let's see if you can send any other. Se manda algún otro, otra información, otro ejemplo. Okay. Uh, he is Gloria. sleeping. Okay, he is sleeping. Alguien está durmiendo, is sleeping, que no tiene la cámara encendida. <laughs> I find myself listening to me. Mm -hmm. Solo digamos, Gloria, I am listening to music. Mm -hmm. I am, se llama la estructura. I am listening to English class. Exactly, Olivia. Really good. Veo que tenemos la idea. A ver, ¿cómo dirían entonces? Voy a ponerle un pequeño reto. Yo sé que algunos ya lo saben. ¿Cómo dirían qué está haciendo tu, tu familiar, tu hermano, tu, tu hermana, tu esposa? Tu, ¿Cómo decimos eso? Pensemos en alguien que está a la par o está en nuestra casa y pensemos qué está haciendo él o ella. How do you say that in English? My grandma, she is um, watching videos on TikTok. Ok. ¿Cómo preguntamos qué está haciendo tu abuela? How do you say what, that? Um, what are you doing in your grandma? What are you doing in your grandma? Your grandmother. More or less. Casi, casi. Try again, please. Send it on the chat. What, the chat. what is your grandmother doing? Exactly. Very good. Esa es la respuesta. What is. Ahí no vamos a decir what are. Si no es what mm -hmm. is. What is your grandmother doing? ¿Por qué dijimos what is? Porque grandmother es ella. Before we say what is she doing. Entonces ahí viene el cambio. El sujeto que es she acepta es. Que ya sabemos lo to be, ¿verdad? Es decir, el verbo to be se adapta de acuerdo al subject que estamos utilizando. Veo el ejemplo de Ruth. What is your husband at this moment doing? He is eating the dinner. Ese es otro ejemplo. Mire. Es, tenemos el Olivia. What is your son doing? Exactamente. Entonces respondemos he is, she is, siempre en esa misma línea. El verbo to be juega un rol importante en la formulación de preguntas o de oraciones. Ok. Really good. Veamos... Vamos a continuar con algunos datos y aquí está el grammar. Miren, vamos a eh, tomar, este, vamos a leerlos. Necesito que veamos. Belki, me ayuda, porfa, con las primeras horas. preguntas. Read it. Are, are you living at home now? Is your sister working for the government? Are Ed and Hill going to the college teachers? Okay, thank you so much. Vamos a pedir a alguien más que nos ayude con las siguientes tres preguntas. Vamos a ver. Uh, Jacqueline, would you like to do it? Jacqueline, where? Okay. Um, where are you working now? What is your brother doing, doing these days? And um, where are your parents visit, visiting this week? Thank you so much. Vaya, de esos que vamos a rescatar en primer lugar... El, are you living at home? El, is your sister in R? Porque son dos personas. Eh, los verbos van en ING, que son nuestros uh, present continuous, right? Ahora, si tenemos una pregunta como esta, las respuestas son close ended. Son preguntas cerradas, ¿verdad? Cortas. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Or no, she isn't. Pero cuando tenemos los WH word, que en su momento los hemos mencionado, what, where, y tenemos who, y faltan un par de, de WH word, son preguntas abiertas y las respondemos de esta manera. ¿verdad? Entonces, the, the open question requires a, an open answer. Una pregunta abierta también requiere una respuesta también completa. Entonces, me gustaría que ustedes creen una pregunta abierta de estas, de open questions, y también una pregunta cerrada con sus respectivas respuestas, y sea acerca de, no más saben que ustedes quieran este, proporcionar o crear. Les estoy, I'm going to give you two minutes, nada más, porque el tiempo es un poquito rápido, y voy a leer los que ya me mandaron en todo eso, que crean sus ejemplos, con respuestas. Piensen ahorita, piensen. What is your son doing? Dice Carla. 
What is your son doing right now? He's sleeping in his bed. Good one. I like it. Salvador, what is her mother doing right now? Muy bien. Muy bien. Ask. What are they playing? Uh -huh. Esa es una cerrada, ¿verdad? Con su respuesta corta. Tienen dos minutos para hacer alguna una, una pregunta. Pesa. Encende. Pueden compartirla en el chat o pueden compartirla a través uh, de manera verbal. ¿Ok? Two minutes. Pensemos. Y si no ha entendido, no tenga ninguna pena en levantar la mano y decir, mire, no sé de qué está hablando. Si no, si no crea su ejemplo, please. Cuando tenga su ejemplo, lo puede compartir. Creo que tengo uno de Olivia. Why? No, you are traveling in this moment. Okay. What are you doing? Dice, ya que I'm watching. I'm waiting for dinner. Okay. To be ready to, to, to be ready so I can eat. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Ya casi, ¿verdad? Ya noche. <laughs> Para estar cenando. Okay. Where, where are you going on the weekend? Muy bien. Esa es una pregunta que lleva también intención de futuro, y, pero sí también se puede utilizar. Uh -huh. Me compartan sus ejemplos. Ahí tenemos un par ya en el chat. La misma estructura. En eso que están compartiendo les voy a mostrar las, las estructuras sugeridas, ¿verdad? La primera es esta. Ya ustedes creo que ya la vieron. Y nos hace una referencia al, al simple present y el presente continuo. Este simple present es la, una acción regular, una acción que sucede pasar a una daily basis, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, she works. Ella trabaja. Una actividad rutinaria, uh, repetitiva. Y pasa cada día, por ejemplo. Pero la otra, she's working, en este escenario, ya lo dijimos, está in the moment and in progress. Ajá, like at this moment she is working, ella está en el trabajo, está haciendo, esa es la diferencia es entre un tiempo con el otro. Veamos más ejemplos. You are watching the classes, ya no exacto. Muy bien. Entonces, esta es la, la estructura brindada, guys. Eh, nada más comentarles, no confundir el presente simple, porque muchas veces después ya le queremos poner is aquí, she is work, no hay nada que ver. Siempre que utilizamos el verbo to be, tenemos que poner nuestro verbo en ing mandatorio. No hay opción, debe ser así como tal. Ok, mantengamos esa idea. Quiero ver otros ejemplos. Who is calling the cell phone? Uh, who is calling the cell phone, brother? At this time? Who is calling... My, my brother's cell phone, maybe. Who is calling uh, to the cell phone? Mm -hmm. Ahí habría que verificar un detallitos. ¿Cuál es la idea que quiere compartir ahí? Let me see, quiero ver. Carla, cuando dice, who is calling the cell phone brother at this time? ¿Cuál es la, la, la idea para ayudar? Eh, la idea era, este, ¿quién está llamando al teléfono a esta hora? Mm. Who is calling? At who's, who's calling at the phone at this time? Es que decir hermano sería, como preguntarle a su hermano sería, who is calling at the phone at this time? Uh, comma, my brother, or brother, como brother. O si no pone brother, who is calling at the phone at this time? Uh, porque el brother no va a ir ahí porque no es quien está haciendo la acción. El brother nada más como hacer referencia que ya le va a preguntar. Pero podríamos hacer, brother, who's calling at, who's calling at the cell phone at this time? O, oh, who's calling at the cell phone at this time, brother? Uh -huh. Okay, let's, let's continue. Uh, what are you doing? I'm dying. I'm dying. Be careful, Gilbert. I'm dying. I'm dying. Don't be exaggerated. You just, uh, you just have the flu. Okay. Hay que tomarse un painkiller ahí, una, una, I don't know, a pill. 
What is sister doing? What is sister? ¿Qué es el que está hermana? Así podríamos ponerle What is your sister? What is my sister? Their sister, our sister. Pongámosle un possessive ahí, Jesse, para que se escuche mejor. What are you? What are? Where are going you to? Ana María Hueso, ¿cuál es la idea ahí para ayudarle? Where going you to? What do you want to say there? Ok, Jancy, no problem. No, perdón, teacher, se me fue la idea y como se equivocó, lo volví a... Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. No, él lo estaba escribiendo de nuevo. Ok, no problem, Diana. El... No problem. You are sleeping? No, I'm not sleeping, ok. La, si es pregunta, vamos a tratar de, al momento seguir la estructura. Le voy a compartir más información. Veamos. Subject, aquí tenemos, mire, bird to be. Es mandatorio, siempre. Y el verbo to be va a ir sujeto al subject que estamos utilizando. El verbo es, tiene que ser en ING y complemento. Yo les quiero dejar un, una tarea para mañana con esta misma línea. Este, pero la buscan, que mañana la vamos a discutir. Ahí tengo una información importante de sobre los channels. Y channels, miren channels, búsquense. Así lo van a buscar. Lo voy a mandar al chat. Spelling. Rules for gerunds. Así lo van a buscar, miren. Um, mañana lo discutimos. Es spelling rule for gerunds. ¿Cuándo? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Cómo le, sé que le voy a poner ing y a veces le quito la e que tiene al final? O de repente quizás duplico una consonante. O why do I do this? Entonces mañana, ustedes me lo voy a tomar de manera aleatoria y me van a explicar eh, las rules for gerunds. ¿Ok? van a encontrar un aproximado entre seis o siete reglas, que son las más comunes, ¿ok? Así que hay que leerlas, quizá cuando estemos speaking no es mucho la diferencia, pero cuando estamos escribiendo, si de repente, pues, um, nos falta, ¿verdad?, ponerle el, la escritura correcta, y yo creo que spelling rules son necesarias, de una u otra manera. Ok, así que mañana hacemos esa revisión, don't forget it, Tomorrow, spelling rules for gerunds. Y vamos a comenzar por ahí. Vamos a comenzar, ¿ok? Así que prepárese algo, investiguelo, le va a ayudar, no lo dudo. Uh, les va a poner una mejor claridad de cómo funcionan los gerunds, que son los gerundios. Ana María Hueso, ya las últimas ideas, guys. Tenemos como five minutes more. Sí. Uh, where is going your mother? La regla, acordémonos, la regla, Ana, y eso es para todos. Where is, después del verbo to be, va a nuestro sujeto. Entonces sería, where is your mother going? Siempre. En español podemos decir, ¿dónde, dónde va tu mamá? Como escuchamos que tu mamá dejamos al final, en inglés eso no, no se puede. En inglés siempre va la estructura. Verbo to be y sujeto. Entonces sería, where is your mother going? Okay. Así como lo respondió Ana, she is going. Antes del verbo to be va el sujeto. Is your sister buying at the store? No, she's not. Muy bien. Ok, creo que hay algún par de ideas más. Permítame. Tenemos, vaya, esta es la última. Eh, creemos eh, ejemplos con esta estructura, guys, please. Tenemos el WH word. Solo lo único que vamos a hacer es ponerle el WH word antes del verbo to be. Ya me mandaron un par de ejemplos. Mándenme un par de ejemplos más, uno más, y que aquí nos vamos a quedar. Y me la contestan. What are, where are, when is, why is, and blah, blah, blah. Okay? One more sentence. Or question, I'm sorry. Veamos, tenemos dos minutitos más, guys, please. Alguien nos manda un ejemplo. Bueno, con ese vamos a ir terminando. Quiero ver, déjenme leerlo. What are you, el, el, el verbo, Clara. What are you eating, verdad? What are you eating? Acordémonos que nuestro verbo va en ing, ing, 
¿Qué estás comiendo? What are you eating? El ING significa gerundio que termina con ando, endo, que son las dos terminaciones más comunes. What are you eating? ¿Qué estás comiendo? Ok, ok, eso, ¿verdad? El verbo es importantísimo, guys. Entonces, voy a. What is your song renting? Sí, bien, hoy sí, este, Ana María West. Entonces, chicos, uh, prácticamente mañana retomaríamos esto. La tarea es investigar cómo hacemos los INGs, ¿verdad? Hay un par de reglas ahí que se van, las van a encontrar y la verdad que o está sea, bien interesante leerlas. Ruth dice, Where are your children studying now? They're studying in Maranat School. Sí, está muy bien formulada. Ok, ¿tienen alguna pregunta, alguna, alguna consulta antes de finalizar esta sesión? Any questions, guys, before we finish this session? Solo si repite, teacher, ¿cuál es la tarea? Perdón. Ah, la tarea es buscar spelling rules de los gerundios. Yeah. Ya la mandé al grupo de WhatsApp, la tarea. Ajá. Gracias, David. Appreciate it. Ahí está la tarea y pues hay que buscarla. Eso nos va a ayudar a tener una mejor claridad. Van a encontrar como seis, siete. De repente, pues algunos traen más, pero ahí anda el, el, el promedio de las reglas. Ok. Um, well, it's nice, guys, to, uh, well, to have started with you guys today. Have a nice night and see you tomorrow, okay? Try to rest as much as possible, okay? Bye-bye. Take care. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 Cinco, seis, siete, ocho, 